hello and welcome back hope you're good doing well so we are having pound dollar set up over there we were expecting pound to just keep the, the trend intact and continue to keep pushing more higher but after the day scene from ecb we got a breakdown and pound slightly went lower and again testing those lows so simply we are having uh, bank of england rate the next week and uh, pound is you know pound should price in for that uh, event for a higher interest rate in the uk and more hawkish bank of england so uh, you are simply expecting it to to hold that uh, previous low all right and uh, it is already bouncing off all right and bounce off and at least give you a one to one risk ratio and in best case scenario just run for another leg higher all the way back to that top like this okay and and uh, further best case scenario just break through and just simply go to one to seven so the bullish you know setup is still intact on pound dollar we are still having the bullish view we were not expecting this to happen we the breakout to happen we have seen some changes from the ecb after interest rate hike which caused that euro to go down and um, ecb is not as hawkish as it was being expected which caused that uh, drop all right the pound to go down or euro to go down so we're having bank of england rate the scene next week so so pricing in is 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 very likely on the pound for next week so you are simply looking for pound to hold these lows and go back up and uh, first of all looking for short term trade and uh, all right so it's already bouncing off so you're watching it too closely and and give you this the short term trade first yeah so already bounced off so may not continue it can test those areas a couple of times before we're gonna have you know for more upside momentum so looking for that that short term trade or this to price to rise all the way back to this area or in best case scenario another lag higher on for our time frame to daily time frame hope that uh, makes sense okay so let's say in case if we see that the breakout okay it, it, in case if it breaks down aggressively to the downside so we're still gonna look for you know bullish wave all right we're st still gonna look for a bullish wave we'll see where we're gonna get the entry all right but still gonna be a, still gonna look for a bullish wave in that case price you know can extend up to 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 further downside the, the daily moving averages are so far away i don't think so we're gonna have you know pound to visit those areas so not making sense at, at the moment all right but in case if it breaks slightly lower we're still gonna look for this to continue its bullish trend intact all right so look, gonna look for bigger correction something like that like these areas but fundamentals are still still supporting for the pound to just stay intact for more upside and in best case scenario it can run up to 143 in you know of 145 or 150 areas in longer term all right thank you